In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on matrices. We have already seen some problems based on the order of matrices and this problem, this numerical question is in succession to the previous videos. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. Let's read the question together. So if B is a 4 by 5 type matrix, 4 by 5 type matrix means the order is already defined, it is 4 by 5, then what is the number of elements? What do we need to find? The number of elements, number of elements where? Number of elements in the third column. So in these questions, one might get confused and perturbed. As to we don't know anything, we don't know the number of elements because we are supposed to find. We don't know what are the elements, say those are negative numbers or positive numbers, we don't know anything. But you don't need to know as well, you know one important thing that the order is defined. When the order is known to you, maximum things automatically get understood. If you still don't believe, let's see how to do this question. I put the heading solution, right? Now, the matrix is a 4 by 5 type matrix. That means there have to be how many rows? 4. Because the first denotes rows, the second thing denotes columns. So there have to be 4 rows and 5 columns. So it is R1, R2, R3, R4 and 5 columns. C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. Now what are we supposed to find out after we have done this 4 columns, uh, 4 rows, 5 columns. We know we have to find out the number of elements in which column? In the third column. Where is the third column? So how many elements would be there? The elements as you can see one would be here at the verge at the intersection of R1 and C3. The other would be at the intersection of R2 and C3. The other would be at the intersection of R3 and C3. And the fourth and the last would be at the intersection of R4 and C3. So there are how many elements? There are four elements. So the answer is four. Now finding the answer is one thing and understanding few more important things related to this question is the other thing. Suppose somebody had asked me or the question was not about the third column, rather it was about the second column. Now you see the second column is where? It is here. Again the same answer. Why? Because first element here, second here, third here, fourth here. So again you got four. So any column the examiner asks me, either column 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, the number of elements does not change. It is 4 only. And what was 4? See, what was 4? In the order, the number of rows were 4. So whenever something about the column is asked, the answer would be the number of rows. That means here it is 4 rows. You see here 4 rows. Hence the answer is 4. But if the question is different, say now I put, this is the first part and I put a part B to this question. This is A part, this is B part, first row. Now the examiner or the question asks me to find out the number of elements in the first row. Now look at the row, where is first row? It is here, right? First row number of elements, one element here, the other element here the third element, the fourth element, the fifth element. Means it depends upon what? The answer you got is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when talking about um, elements in a row, the answer is 5. That means it is the answer of column. So the answer to the first part is 4. But the answer to the second part is 5. That means when talking about a column, when talking about a column, the answer is row wise. You count row wise. And when talking about row, you count column wise. Again, I repeat, the question was what? Just to find out the number of elements when a particular order is given, you draw a schematic of the matrix and then count for rows, you count column wise, for columns, you count row wise. 
So in this video we saw this question, the question was based on the counting of number of elements.